Good morning. It is 6.20. I don't know why I'm in such a good mood. And the tide is just turning. I think it's gone slack. Um, we were told to leave after it's turned and not to try and race it. Um, so hopefully in the next 10 minutes it will actually turn and then we'll leave sometime after that. And hopefully breakfast will be done by then. <laughs> It's a couple of minutes later, well, about 10 minutes later. I don't know if you can see it, but the water's definitely going that way, um, which is the tide coming in. So it's definitely turned. Um, Michael's just started the engine. Breakfast's still cooking. Um, we need to go in a minute. We've got a time-lapse camera running at the front of the boat. At the moment the tide's going out, but I find it really satisfying to watch it go slack and then begin to come in as the sun comes up. is definitely coming in. One of the big commercial ships that was back there has moved off and uh, it's cold. You can see the tide coming in just behind George's head around the pontoon. It looks like it might be quite a fast trip back to Dog in a Doublet. Michael unties the rope while I hold us onto the pontoon with the stern line and once Michael steps back aboard, we're off into the flow. Uh. Goodbye with Beach. Maybe we'll be back one day on our way to cross the wash again. Small. We're leaving West Beach and we're going quite fast and it's really cold. Well, the tide is with us and uh, well you can see in the center channel up ahead if you look carefully before my head does that again um, that uh, the center line of the tide is actually still ahead of us and accelerating or at least it's faster than us. Um, and I'm just trying to get to the one low bridge, and then once we get under the low bridge, I will slow down and we will ride the tide the rest of the way up. It's not really that low, it's just it can be low, so we just want to get through that before, it gets, before the tide goes low.
One of us is definitely feeling the cold this morning. It may be on the chilly side, but the early morning light is pretty magical. There's a lot of headroom at the bridge, so we had absolutely nothing to worry about there. That looks like one of the many drains that feed into the river. If you've seen our last video, you'll have seen the stampeding cows that we saw on our way downstream. After six miles with fairly samey scenery, we've been wondering if we'll see the athletic cows again today. The tide still has a little way to go before it's fully in. Let's hope we don't get ahead of it. Well, it's not the stampede of yesterday, but it's nice to see the cows all the same. We've arrived at Doggana Doublet with enough water, but we're far earlier than we expected. Well, there we are. We're at Doggana Doublet. Well, we're on the lock landing below the lock at Doggana Doublet. Yeah. So the tide has uh, brought us up quicker than we thought we'd get here. Uh, so we're actually about an hour before our scheduled time and Mick the lock keeper here has been made aware of that and he is about half an hour away so we're going to, I'm going to wait. Joe is going to take George and do a walk to Peterborough. You'll probably still get there before me. Me? Mm. Oh, I hope you do. You're going to be hanging around waiting. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, hopefully Michael gets there for 12 because he's got a uh, a class. So, if not, he should wait here and do the class here for about two hours, so he should be okay. Yeah, it should be plenty of time. All right. Right. Let's see George, George is off. <laughs>
<laughs> Turns out he's got a taste for crab too, by the way. Above the lock, the water is covered in duckweed where it's accumulated after flowing downstream. It's quite funny to see the evidence of a boat passing through. The lock keeper's back, time for Michael to get on his way. like Michael's catching up on some YouTube while on the home straight. One of the problems of being alone on the boat is you sometimes have to stop to change the batteries in the GoPros, giving some of the cows a bit of a surprise. of the sunken boats means that Michael's almost back at our mooring spot in Peterborough. There's the turning towards Stanground Lock and the middle level. to Peterborough? Just in time because I literally need to go inside as soon as we finish recording, boot up my computer and start talking to people in Sweden. That's really funny. When we first got here, like two weeks ago or whatever, I came, I was walking from just the other side of the bridge and I came down here and I was like, why is there any more to here? There's loads of moorings and you've gone down there. Yeah. Today, I cut across the field and was right down there. And you were like, oh, I'm back by the bridge. <laughs> it's like the opposite. Well, I came up this way, looked down, and just, I was like, I'm running out of time, and I can't see a space down there, so I'll go I think it's here. nice here for a change. The bridge might be a bit noisy, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, they are clearly preparing to do something uh, 
rather loud involving concrete. Oh, good. Uh, yeah. How was your? How was the lock in there? Uh, it was fine. The guy um, Nick showed up to open the lock probably about 15 minutes after you left. Um, it just all of a sudden started opening, <laughs> so I was like, "Aha!" <laughs> um, ran out, got inside. Yeah, he was very nice. Got me through real quick. Uh, spent several minutes pushing through the weed and muck, which stank. Yeah. Uh, and then I had a clear trip the rest of the way. So other than, you know, the excitement of passing you guys walking along, um, and then about halfway the rest of the way, the excitement of ramming the boat into the side so that I could run in and get batteries for the camera. Oh, you poor thing. Um, <laughs> running out to find, I got the camera on the front, then I ran to the back, got the camera on the back. The wind had started, started to turn me around, so like there's a cow near me, and when I came out, it was just like, Mur! I wish you told me, because I'd have been like, just leave them. Yeah. Well, Always a matter. Um, but yeah, yeah it was really windy, really, really windy. I was up on the bank, so I could feel it. But I was like, well, for ages, because I stopped on the footbridge, I was like, hello, 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 hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you didn't hear a thing. No. That would have been, yeah, it's been very windy, blustery day, and it hasn't made, because of the direction I've been traveling, it's been into the wind the whole time, yeah. so it hasn't made it at all difficult on the trip. It was when I started trying to moor up. Yeah. I came over here to moor up, and all of a sudden I'm over that way, yeah. sideways, you really need and to starting to spin backwards. So someone I, on the bank to help Yeah, you. so I ended up just pushing back over that way, reversing nearly to the bridge, and then forcing my way back oh, over here. Thing. But, uh, yeah, so it's going to make for some funny time lapse video because it's like what is he doing yeah anyway well, you better get inside and get on with your uh, thing yeah and um you should probably run into town and see if there's any uh um, more warm outfits for your yeah walk. i should do she discovered today that uh when it gets chilly she doesn't have necessarily enough layers for this well, no, I probably i probably do for a day but not for six days yeah. But also, like, all my training walks have been in, like, really hot weather. So when it's that hot and you're getting hotter because you're walking, it's hard to imagine being cold. Yeah. Like, even today when I was freezing on the boat, I'm walking in the T-shirt. Yeah. We'll see. But, yeah, I should get some more with this. I might not, I've just done six miles, so I might not run into town right this minute. Okay. Well, <laughs> all right. So i got to get inside. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe to Minimalist Maximal Velocity for our time-lapse videos. And click that bell if you want to get notifications. Mm -hmm.